All right, uh, this is going to be a quick workflow on how to create your own DVD covers. Uh, all my uh, all my wedding DVDs uh, come in a nice DVD case, and they have their own personalized DVD cover. So the first thing I did, let me just open up a template that I have saved because all I do is I use the same template over and over. I just uh, let me see. All right, so here's a wedding template uh, DVD template that I have uh, I have already. So what I did was first thing is I created a blank canvas. Just go to, you know, file, file new, blank canvas, and I actually what I did was I actually measured the uh, the DVD case. I measured the dimensions and it came to, uh, you know, 10.75 inches by 7.25 inches, at, uh, and I set mine for 200 DPI. So I made a blank canvas by those dimensions, and I actually measured, you know, where the spine was located. So this area right here. Um, this would be the spine, and uh, this is just another uh, guide that I created, uh, you know, to center my text and stuff like that. So I have the back portion here, and this would be the front cover of the DVD. And all I did was just I just slide, you know, slide my images in there. You know, the, this would be the back, this would be the front, and again, this would be the spine here. So then, what I did was I had, you know, you pick two images. I have you know a CD slideshow. I put the date in there. I have uh, you know I put my website on the back. I have uh, you know my logo on the back too. I put our wedding along the spine, and then I have our wedding on here. And all I have to do for each one is just go in, and, you know, change the name. If this one, if I wanted this to be the uh, you know DVD slideshow, and I'm going to make it a DVD slideshow, or if I need to change the uh, you know, if I need to change the date for the different weddings, say this is, uh, you know, it's in September, all I do is just go in and change the text as needed. I can change the color of our wedding, I can change the, you know, the, the you know, the, uh, the fonts of the text and stuff like that. But basically, this is my, uh, this is my layout for, uh, um, for my covers. And I just, you know, just add the images uh, as needed. You know, so what I'll do is when I'm all said and done, and I have, uh, you know, I have the images, and this is exactly what I want. I'll just flatten it, and then I'll create a new document, and I'll go an eight by ten at 200 DPI, and I'll just simply just drag my cover onto that document. And I will print print that out, and I just cut that off, and I cut that off, and uh, it just slides perfectly into um, the DVD cover, and that's basically how it's done. Now, also just to go along the lines of this, I also do the same for my CD covers. When I actually I print directly on their CDs and on their DVDs, and basically what I have is I have a uh, five by five because that's the uh, that's the size of the cover. I have a 5x5. Five five. I have uh, the layout all set. All I have to do is go in and change the name and the date and stuff like that. And then I can just add whatever image I want. And I just print those out. For each wedding would be different. And I just save those. I save them as a layer file. And that's what I use for my templates. It's uh, extremely simple and uh, very effective. Thanks.